Ladies. <sighs> Let me holler at y'all real quick for a second. Why y'all love having kids by niggas who don't want to have kids with you? Like, y'all will both agree that y'all don't want to have kids. And as soon as you get pregnant, you're posting, we're pregnant. No, we're not. You are. And now you're going to get rid of that when I give you this 300. Like, y'all will mutually agree that y'all don't want to have a kid. And as soon as you get pregnant, you're talking about, I can take responsibility and step up to the plate. But step away from the plate. Shit, as a matter of fact, don't even grab a plate and we ain't got nothing to worry about. Because y'all know how this shit work. Y'all talk about the preventative measures y'all can take to not have a kid. But y'all don't talk about what it takes to get rid of one. So when it comes time to do so, y'all want to ask us some dumb shit like, have you ever had an abortion? No! I will never have an abortion. I got a dick! That's something that you got to think about before we fuck. I don't have a vagina. I don't have ovaries. I don't have a uterus. I got two of the seven Dragon Balls needed to summon Shenron when I need to. I will never have an abortion. And if I could have abortions, then I would. Rather than having a kid with a girl that I know damn well I do not want a kid with. Why would I be so selfish as to bring a child into this world knowing damn well he's going to be born into a broken family? It's like y'all girls don't even be thinking about shit like that. Y'all just be like, oh, it's going to work. It's not going to work. Just like you're not going to work to make sure you get government assistance. And then y'all be having the nerve to call niggas deadbeat dad. I'm not even a dad. You forced me to be one. You drafted me into parenthood and expect me to like it? And then y'all wonder why dudes sign over their rights or they take extreme measures to not become parents. Like, I've seen articles of dudes committing acts of violence against their baby moms to not become parents. The thing that I don't get is why would y'all girls even want to have a kid by a man who would desperately ask you to not have his child? If we both respectfully agree to not have a child together, then I would expect you to abide by that agreement. And if you choose not to, then I would expect you to respect my decision to leave. If we're just having casual sex and we're not even in a relationship, then what would make you think I want to have a child together? If I wouldn't make you my girlfriend, why would I make you a mother? But it's like y'all never see it like that. Y'all just, he's a deadbeat. He can't handle his responsibilities. Yes, I can. I have responsibilities that I handle now. You're just trying to press more on me than I'm not ready to handle at the moment, and I'm man enough to admit that. But the first thing a lot of y'all females do is take it to social media. Oh, he ain't shit, ain't never gonna be shit. Okay. If I'm not shit and I'm never going to be shit, then why do you want to have my child? If you know I'm not going to want or be able to support that child. Like, does that ever register to any of you girls? Or do you just think, well, we had sex, so we're in this together? This is something I just want all of you females to think about before you decide to have a child by that man who does not want you to have his child.